we will ensure uh, that uh, the New Brunswick government uh, allows access, paid for access, uh, to clinics that offer abortion services outside of hospitals. Uh, I will uh, sit down with Premier Higgs uh, if re-elected. We had very clear conversations uh, when I was leader and when I was Prime Minister uh, on ensuring that uh, New, Brun New Brunswick moves forward on uh, protecting women's rights. And that's why it is so uh, frustrating to me to see uh, the government of New Brunswick continue to challenge and limit uh, women's rights and women's access to abortion. A Liberal government, a Liberal Prime Minister will always stand up to provinces who want to limit women's rights to choose, something that the Conservatives, particularly under Andrew Scheer, will not do. I will work with the provinces in the same spirit of open federalism our founders envisioned. And I will work tirelessly to tear down trade barriers between provinces and territories that have held captive our nation's potential for far too long. These barriers prevent the free flow of people, goods and services across provincial borders. They make it more expensive to run a business. They hurt consumers with higher prices and less competition. And they discourage and frustrate big dreaming innovators who want to change the world. We are missing out on a whole new frontier of opportunity and prosperity. The International Monetary Fund estimates that eliminating interprovincial trade barriers could add $80 billion to Canada's GDP. Our healthcare system was only possible because Tommy Douglas fought for it. The New Democrats and progressives fought for it. When we had changes to make sure that seniors could retire with dignity, pension and CPP and old age security, these were things that were brought in because New Democrats were there. So I'm saying to you, I wanna be your prime minister, but whatever Canadians vote for come the 21st of October, I want Canadians to win. And so I'm saying to win, if you vote for New Democrats, we will fight in whatever form the government takes, whatever power the people give us to make sure we deliver on the things that people need. Healthcare investments, pharmacare, dental care, making life more affordable, tackling cell phone companies, and making housing more affordable.